How to clean a carburetor in a weed eater. String trimmers are incredibly useful until they break down. If your string trimmer is having trouble starting, the problem may be deep inside your carburetor. It sounds like the difficult problem to solve, but with a little attention to detail, you can clean your carburetor and get back to trimming. Things you will need Steel wool Putty knife Screwdriver Wrench Carburetor solution Newspaper Remove the plastic shield from your string trimmer. Undo the screws and remove the top half of the plastic to expose the string trimmer's components. Remove the air filter. Often starting issues have more to do with this air filter than the carburetor. Air filters are typically attached with a wing nut. Clean the air filter with soap and water. Flush out all color until the filter is as white as possible. Let the filter dry completely before reinstalling it. Disconnect the carburetor's two main input connections. The first connection is a hose going into the engine's crankcase. The second connection is the side of the carburetor diaphragm. Use a wrench to remove the nuts over newspaper, as the carburetor is likely to leak. Drain the carburetor from the filter side that you have removed. Thick, sludgy gas can indicate problematic buildup. Use pipe cleaner and carburetor solution to clean out the holes. Crack the carburetor case open. Unscrew the bolts holding the two halves of the carburetor together to reveal the float bowl, which is likely the dirtiest part of the mechanism. Clean a float bowl with steel wool and a putty knife. Scrape off built-up sludge. Do not use water or soap. Reassemble and install the carburetor back into your string trimmer. Replace the gas completely before operating the trimmer. Tips Warnings Clean your carburetor in a well-ventilated area while wearing safety goggles. Carburetor cleaner can be highly flammable. Never soak a carburetor in water or gasoline. 